out mud larking super low tide today and tomorrow and Saturday. I just happened to meet someone walking down the street and we thought we were going to go mudlarking together. Meet my new friend. How's it going? Michael is the new mudlark sensation. I know there's treasure out there. It's 5.30, 6 just in the morning. I'm only 5% alive. We're going to go mudlarking, treasure hunting, finding of ancient artifact goodies with the one and only... Nugget Nugget. 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 <laughs> We're gonna tear it up today. Hey. <laughs> tear it up, tear it up. I That's like right. the sound of that. You should see the kit Nugget Nugget's got. He's got wonderful cameras, wonderful. I like them, I want them. I'm gonna have to get them. This is what we're using today. Uh, I'll probably switch back and forth between the two. Nice, this one especially oh, is yeah, really, really, really groovy. It's got a, a, a thingy bob that flips up, screen that flips up backwards so you can see yourself in all your glory see when you're, you're doing, doing your thing. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's great, it's great. I'm learning, I'm learning. So here we are, we're going to the river. The nugget's down there, getting himself ready. Now some people get the wrong idea about treasure hunting. They think it's about making money and it's never about making money. I mean, I suppose there are a few professionals out there that do make a living, but mainly it's just for the love of history and the love of artifacts. Now, every now and again, you will find something worth money and people don't realize that it's worth money, but this is an example. See that anchor, if you're strong enough to get it out, it's probably worth a few thousand dollars to anybody who's got a pub called The Anchor or any sort of themed hotel or themed bar or restaurant or even for that matter any sort of amusement park who wants a real anchor that's a big lump of iron isn't it and a lovely thing but of course can't put that in your pocket can you and look at that isn't that great ah oh, look at that look at that square now that square now that's a fantastic square now look at that handmade all those years ago been lying on the mud well, I know you guys like square nails, and this is Square Nail Central. Another really nice find. It's down there. Let's go get it. What a lovely pipe stem. And it's got its foot there. Beautiful, beautiful foot. It would have been a little pipe as well. Maybe even a lady's pipe. Fabulous. Fabulous. That goes in the pocket. I've got a really, really nice find here. Come and have a look. Look at that. That is part of a printing block from printers. And that's got a letter on the end of it. So isn't that great? I wonder what letter it is. We'll find out later. Fantastic. Actually, this is the first one of these I've found. In fact, my friend and fellow mudlark, Cy Fines, he loves these, he collects these. I might even give it to him, unless it says, C, B or something like that on it. If it's C, B, I'm keeping it. I'm going to concentrate on this because I think there's more printer's blocks. Is that one there? Maybe not. There's lots of little round bits and bobs, little bits of lead. So you never know what you might find. It's worth carefully scraping over this to see if you can find something or what's that. Uh, unfortunately, that's a copper nail head. But it's the right sort of stuff. The right shape, it's a bit small, I think it might be a nail head, but I'm going to put that in my pocket anyway. There you go, Nugget. Well, I don't know, I think, I don't think it's a coin, but it's mm. copper and round, so yeah. it goes in the pocket. All right, put it in the pocket. My pocket? Oh. <laughs> my pocket! 
there's a nice find down here to say the least. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's a flying pig. Now that's exactly what I want to find on the first day of April. A flying pig.